What's up guys, Bodhi here from BodhiDavison.com. In today's video, we've got a Teespring tutorial and we're gonna go over how to use the digital product launcher to create a calendar. I'm gonna show you a dog calendar that I'm gonna use my dogs on and then we're gonna market it and make some sales. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly over the shoulder how I'm making this. I'm gonna buy it myself and then get it and do a quality review so we can see what these calendars actually come out like. This should help any of you guys make your decision on whether you wanna use the digital product launcher to create calendars and sell them. If you're new to the channel, I like to talk about print on demand and making money online. So make sure you check out the channel. I've got the Teespring tutorial playlist, print on demand playlist, and heaps of other videos to help you on your entrepreneur journey. Please give this video a like for me, comment down below any questions or comments you have, and make sure you hit subscribe. Let's go. All right guys, so welcome to this Teespring tutorial, and what we're gonna do here is come over to Canva, and all I've done is entered in calendar up the top here, and this is on the completely free version of Canva, so you can do this as well. What I wanna go over in this Teespring tutorial is you can create calendars and sell them on Teespring. So since Teespring changed over to Spring, they do have the digital products that you can sell. I wanna test this out, so I'm gonna create a calendar. I have two Labradors that some of you will know about, some of you won't, and what I've done is created a calendar over here and just started putting their photos on them. So all I did was chose a calendar from here. I went down, had a look, and I like the look of this one, and then it's completely free, as I said, on the free version. And then I thought this big space here will work well for the photo. So it's a clean, nice enough looking calendar. And then I've just changed the photos in the background. All I've done to change the photos is you click here and then you can go delete and then just drag these photos across onto there. I uploaded a heap of photos, some really good photos I had on my phone and on Hershey and Enzo's Instagram. They've both got Instagrams. And these are just some of the popular posts. So I've just put them on here. And the thing with this is like, this is a very high quality photo taken at our wedding a couple of months ago. But this one here is a little bit distorted and this one's a bit distorted, still looks cool. This one looks pretty good. This one's a little bit distorted. So is this one. And the reason that I'm going with these photos that do look a bit distorted is because I actually want to buy this myself and then get it sent to me and then I'm gonna do a review on the quality. So my my thing here is I'm wondering whether when you do get these printed out, what the quality transfers over like. So it'll be a good test and just this little bit of distortedness in the photos, it'll be very interesting to see what that ends up looking like once I get the printed out version sent to me. So this will be a really, really interesting test for both me so I can see the quality and for you guys, because I'll do a review on it once I get it, and then we can go through it together and you can see what the quality's like as well. We'll do a review and we'll check out the photos that I use like this that are a bit, tiny, tiny bit blurry, and then um, we'll be able to look back on it and be like, okay, so they do print out exactly as they appear on the screen. So all I've done is, as I've dragged these over here and got this finished, then I just downloaded it. And then we're gonna go over to Teespring and we're gonna go through how to upload it. So this will be my first time actually doing this and actually, you know, I'm gonna buy it myself and send it to myself. So if we just go start designing and we'll click start designing again, for whatever reason, you have to do that twice. Anyway, then we're gonna come down and we're gonna go digital. And what we're looking at here is, I guess you would call this digital planner. So let's click on this. So here it says, select the category that best describes your digital product. Choose digital product if you don't see a relevant option. They don't have calendar here, so I might just select digital product. And then we're just gonna upload it. So we've got it selected, let's click open. So it says your file has been added successfully. We'll upload it to your digital product listing once you hit publish. All good then. And then it wants to add some images here. So maybe I'll go back and just do some screenshots of what the calendar looks like. So even if we do this one, and we'll just do a screen grab. So if we go Shift Command 4, you can actually just do a screen capture like this, just drag it. And then we'll do another couple of these. So we'll go this one, Shift Command 4 again. I am on an iMac, so it might be different for you, but just Google it if you don't know how to do a screen grab, or just use the snipping tool. Most computers have snipping tool. This one's really cute as well. And I really like this one as well from our wedding, which is a really cool shot of Hershey. All right, so we've got our four photos and that will work well for this. So let's upload them. 
So this one will be the featured one over here. We might just drag. Can you drag this? Okay, so I just deleted them and re-uploaded them because I wanted this to be the featured image and you can't drag it across from what I can tell, which is weird. Um, so let's name the title. So we'll call it uh, Hershey, Hershey and Enzo Calendar because that's the two dogs' names and that's all I can think of. Add this product to an exi existing store. Might as well add it to one. URL, that's good. So Hershey and Enzo Calendar, that comes up really well. Now just type out a bit of a product description. Couldn't think of much for the description, that'll do. Public, visible to everyone, that's what we want. We don't want it to be private. Who made this content? I made it. Uh, let's put the calendar as... So I was wondering what to price the calendar at. They actually have this in the Teespring community. So they're saying Lightroom preset at $10. Uh, what should be the retail price of my digital product? Wallpapers range between $2.99 and $9.99 and coloring pages or books between $5.99 and $12.99. So that tells you a little bit, not heaps. I think I'm just gonna put it at $10. I think a calendar for $10 is fair enough. Making it $8.60 profit per sale. Then you just gotta click this to make sure that you're agreeing that you made it. And we're just gonna go publish uploading your digital asset. So this is my first time uploading a digital product on Teespring, very excited about it. Happy to bring you this Teespring tutorial going over it. All right, so here it is on the website. So this looks pretty cool. And as you can see, it just comes up with these four that I uploaded so you can check it out, see what it looks like. And I'm glad that's the featured photo, it looks really good. So it's clicked over to Australian dollars now. It wouldn't let me select Australian dollars when I was pricing it, which was weird, but so that works out to be $13.11. And this pretty much sums it up, guys. So looks looks quite good, actually. Um, now I'm gonna buy it. Okay, guys, so I ended up ordering the sample. I ended up just going back to my own listing here and then went to order a sample instead of paying the full price off of the website because it doesn't really make sense it only ended up costing like 67 cents to get a sample sent to me so that is pretty good pretty good and then the shipping time two to three weeks they're saying for delivery so it's not an instant delivery but i'm in australia so i wonder if that makes it different and this is quite funny down the bottom here it's actually promoting my own shop to me so pup club promoting my own shop to me, which is uh, very interesting. And then if we click on my tab there, you can see that it's actually got a digital folder up here now as well. So since we got the calendar on there, and there it is there. And it actually flicks through it when you hover over it, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, we'll finish this video here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Teespring tutorial. One more way of using the digital product launcher and getting used to these new things we can do on Spring. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As I said, please give the video a like for me. Comment down below any questions or comments that you have. Make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.